This Accrunch challenge is called Structs. It's one of the easy ones, so it's going to be pretty fast. They give us a representation, just like this here, and they explain a struct is a way to combine multiple fields to represent a composite data structure. This is related to object-oriented programming, and a struct can have functions and so on. But in this challenge, we are only going to work with data members. So here, we are going to create a struct named students, and it's going to represent the details of that student. So we're going to have an integer to represent the age of the students. We're going to have a string for the first name of the students, another string for the last name of the students, and then finally here, an integer to represent the standard of the students. The number of characters in first name and last name will not exceed 50. So if we want to implement that struct and we want to use a char pointer, then this limits here, this limitation makes sense to take into consideration. But here, I want to use strings in C++. So the first thing, when I look at this here on my right, we have a bunch of headers that we don't need. So we're not going to use a vector, mathematical functions or anything. And we're also not going to use the algorithm header. I'm going to remove everything here. And instead, I'm going to have IO stream. This is for input and output. And then I'm going to have the string header because I want to use C++ strings. And now I can simply paste my solution here, which is very short. I have the struct keyword because I'm going to create a struct. The name of that struct is student. And in between these curly brackets, I have four data members or member variables. So two of them are the age and the standard for the students. And two of them are going to be strings for the first name and last name. If you look at their program here, they create an instance of the student struct here. It's called st. And then they get some inputs via this cin command for the age of the students, the first name, the last name, and the standard. So to access these member variables, they can have the name of that object, st, and then use the dot notation with the name of the member variable. And then when you are done, they use cout to print the details of the students. So let me first run this code to make sure that it works. And then I'm going to show you what would happen if I were to change that keyword, the structs keyword, with the class keyword. So now I've changed that to class. And notice this here now have a red line. If I run this code, it's going to tell me that these member variables are now private. So let's scroll down to the error. And here they say int student age, so the age variable under the student namespace, is private within this context. Now, this is because in classes, by default, the member variables are all private. In structs, however, the member variables are public by default. So if I wanted to make this public, I could write functions, or I could also use the public access specifier, just like this. And then now, if I run this code, it's going to work because these have now been declared as publicly available. I run this code and it works. I'm going to submit it. Of course, I'm going to revert to the struct keyword. Now I'm going to come here and change this back to structs. So now let me run this code one more time. It works, so I'm going to submit it. And we are done. I hope you learned something today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.